In this video, we're going to go through the vocabulary for I am a sheep. Now, there's not going to be any song associated with this. There's not going to be any music. This is purely vocabulary. This is me showing you how to make the signs. Okay? It's important, though, I think it's really, really, really important that you learn all of these things in sentences You'll hear me say this over and over and over again. We don't speak in individual words. Okay? You cannot learn English from a dictionary. You have to learn English by seeing it spelled out. So as you go through this, I want you to learn these signs and be sure to connect them all up because it's making sentences, not making signs. Okay? That preaching done. I am a sheep. I am a sheep is a beautiful song. It tells you about how you feel like your relationship is with the shepherd. And it says his relationship with you. It is an awesome song. It's also fun to sign. And here it goes. I just point to yourself. Okay? In sign language, the pronoun, and if you've seen my signs before, you'll hear this again, over and over again. Pronouns are just a finger. You, me, it, it. If there was a girl in the room, she. If there was a guy in the room, he. Okay? It's directional. When you're talking about God, it's he. Alright? If you're talking about your friend across the room, it's he. This is a pronoun. Okay? I am it's the letter A coming off the chin. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see that a little clearer. M. Okay. It is important that it comes up at the top of the chin. I see this done all the time where it, you get loose at it and you do like this. This is the sign for not. So M and not being opposites almost uh, changes things quite a bit if you don't get it, don't get it right. Off the chin is the letter A coming off the chin, M. A sheep. Okay. In sign language, we oftentimes leave out all the little bitty words, A and N and V and oftentimes so and these little bitty connector words. In sign language, most of the time, those little things are just in the way. Sign language, because it's manual, you want to do the least amount of movement as possible. So if you have to put A in all the time, you would, it would make your signs very, very difficult. So we're just going to leave all the A's out. I am sheep. Okay, you can think of it in that kind of a uh, foreign language sounding kind of way. I am sheep. And sheep is the letter L or scissors, either one. Okay? Some people like this, some people like this, either way. I kind of like this one because it's kind of like, well, this is actually the sign for lamb, and this is kind of the sign for shearing a sheep, whichever one you think works best for you in this song. I am a sheep. All right? And the Lord is my shepherd. And. Palm open, coming out to finger. And I kind of do that sideways so you can see it. And, okay. The Lord is my shepherd. The, one of those words we get rid of. Lord. It's the letter L, starting on the shoulder opposite the elbow. Okay. Coming down to your uh, hip. Lord. And just for... Having said so, you can do all kinds of things with this one. Do an M, and it's master. Do a K, and it's a king. Now do a Q, and it's a queen. A P, and it's a prince or a princess. Uh, what are some of the other ones? Yeah, that's enough. Anyway, it's a, it's a title. Okay, Lord. Is my shepherd. Is, just like M, only it's the letter I coming off the chin. My. Just like this is a pronoun, 
A pronoun that has ownership, like my, uses an open hand instead of a finger. So yours, mine, his, hers, its, his, just like the finger, only it's a palm when there is ownership involved. Shepherd. Okay? The, this is the sign for sheep. Right? If you put this at the end of a sign, then it makes it a person who is that. Alright? Let me see if I can say it better. Shed bird. Okay? A sheep person. If I were to do a sailor, it would be a sailor. If I do a savior, it would be savior. Okay? See how this takes save and makes a person out of it. This makes this a person who does both. A person who does sheep is a shepherd. Watching over my soul. Watching. Okay? And I think it's important that it's not watching. If I have this dazed look on my face, I'm not looking at anything. I'm zoning. It doesn't matter what my fingers are doing. Your face needs to reflect what your signs are. So if it is a verb, like watching, then do an action as well as show an action. So watching, all right? He's not just watching. You can watch a whole bunch of different ways. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You know, you can really get into that. However you feel that God is watching, kind of put that into the sign. Watching. In sign language, your fingertips is where your eyeballs are. And that's very, very handy because you can watch, you can look around, you can look up, you can look on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> okay? It's very, just don't clean your ears. That would be bad. Okay? Anyway, watching over my soul. Over. It's kind of like hovering. My, we already saw that, soul. Two F hands, okay? One F hand is here. The other F hand is like sewing, okay? Now, I know it's not, you know, the deaf don't have any kind of way to sound soul and so, but for us hearing people, it kind of helps. So, okay? It's also a sign for spirit and ghost. Okay. Uh, my soul to keep guarding over me ever. My soul to is one of those words we can just drop out. Keep watching over me ever. Okay, keep. Two different ways I'm gonna you can sign keep. Okay. Keep. This is the this is keep. This is how you would do it. If you were to say, I'm going to keep that. Okay? Keep what guarding over. He's not going to keep that guarding. He's going to continuously. Alright? Continuously. That's the direction we're going to use that sign. He's not saying, I'm going to keep it like it's mine. He's going to say, I'm going to keep doing it. And that sign is this way. You take your thumb on your left hand, and you put your thumb in your right hand, and you kind of just push it forward, okay? The left, you're left-handed, and then it's the other way. Anyway. Okay. Uh, keep guarding over. Guarding. And this is just like football, where you're guarding, all right? And I don't play football, and I think that he did that. You'd actually went up with your face. It fits your face. But anyway, guarding. Over my soul. Uh, guarding. Over me ever. Always. This is just a circle in the air. Always. Okay. Next verse. Watching wherever I go. Watching wherever. Okay. Uh, someone comes into your room and they say, and, and they want to put something on your bed. You really don't care where they put it. All right? They say, where do you want to put that on your bed? And you say, oh, wherever. Okay? Wherever. That's the sign. Wherever. I go. Go is just kind of like rolling. You roll forward to go. You roll backward to come. Go. And you can actually put a little flare at the end there. Go. Okay. And then you have the chorus. 
get the chorus down good because you're going to do it twice in the song. And when the wind blows, and when, like a like you're making a lollipop, okay? When the wind blows, duh, we're leaving it out. Wind, just kind of, okay? The wind is just going by, and it's going by pretty ferociously. All right, the wind. So it's not just a gentle wind. It's a wind. All right, blows. And here we don't even need to sign the word blows because. What we've done is we've taken the noun wind and we've added the action to it. It's blowing. Okay? That happens a lot in sign language, where verbs are converted to nouns in motion. That's what we did here. We took a noun wind and put it into motion. Blows. He is my shelter. Alright, he. How do I point? He is my shelter. Shelter. Okay? He is. We already know those signs. My. Know that sign. Shelter. Guarded place. That's a shelter. What? Guarded place. I've also seen a sign safe place. Okay? And when I'm lost and alone, and when. I am, in sign language, there are no contractions. There is no apostrophe, you know, A apostrophe, M. There's no, it's, everything is decontracted. I am, okay, lost and alone. Lost. I have it here. I'm carefully carrying it. Oh, I lost it. All right. Lost and alone. It's, this is you. Just kind of turn your back on the world and come back in on yourself alone. He rescues me. Okay? And what I would do in this part is I would actually show some alone on my face and show some happy when I'm rescued. Okay? So when I'm lost and alone, he rescues me. Same sign as save, okay? Rescues me. And when the lion comes, this is when Satan, the lion, comes and tries to get you. He is my victory. So when the lion you know, if a lion were coming at you, all right, so if a lion's coming at you, are you going to be in like this, or are you going to be backing up? You're going to be backing up. This is the name that's on the lion, by the way. When the lion comes, he is my victory. All right? So you might want to step back for lion and step forward for victory. The point here is to communicate, not just get your hands moving in the right direction. Okay, so when the lion comes, he is my, and we've got all those signs before, victory. Victory. It's the letter V, kind of point to your, to your elbow here. You don't have to touch it, but just kind of point to it in victory. Like you're waving your, your victory flag. All right? Constantly... Same thing as before, we were doing keep guarding over. Constantly, continuously watching over me. Okay? And we got all those signs. We are his children. We. Alright. So this is again that pronoun. We got the other we got the third kind of pronoun here, the the, the, the plural. Uh, we. Just point here. And then point there. Point to the same side that's on your as your elbow. Point to the opposite side of your elbow. Just kind of touch your shoulder both places. We. If you were to do a, an open palm, what do you think it would be? Ownership. Not we. Not me. But our. All right. So we. All right. Uh, our 
his children R. It's the letter R coming off the chin. So you now have three signs that come off the chin. Am, is, and R. Okay? His children. Possessive, open palm, directional, his. Children. Just pat the kids on the head. One, two, three, four good kids. All right? We are his children. And it doesn't matter how old you are, we are all, if we're 99 or if we're 199, we're all God still pat us on the head. We're still his children. Okay? And he is our father. And he is our father. Okay. Let me explain that a little bit. This is mother. This is father. Okay? This is grandmother and grandfather. I've seen it done grandmother and grandfather, but most of the time I see it grandmother, grandfather. Great grandmother, great grandfather. Okay? When you're talking about God the Father, it's two hands, Father, and they kind of throw up to Him. Let me do that sideways so you can see that. Father. Alright? I think I'm low enough here. Father. Alright. Uh, watching over our soul. Watching over our soul. I see how I did that? Watching over our soul. I just run the signs together. It's not watching over our soul. It's watching over our soul. Okay? Try to morph your signs into each other. Because we do that when we talk. We we run our work together. We can always tell what we're saying. It doesn't matter really how fast we do it. We can always understand it. We run our words together. Just like we run our signs together. Okay? All right. Great is his love. Great. Okay. It's the letter G, only big, on both hands, and they come apart. Great. Okay. It's, uh, and it's, you know, depending on how great it is, it could be great. Could be great. Could be great. Okay. So, however you feel on that one, make your sign reflect how great it is. That is his love. Love. It's like holding your teddy bear when you go into bed at night. You just cross your hands in love. Okay? Alright. Uh, great is his love for his sons and his daughters. Four. Kind of point to your head and rotate your wrist. Point your head, rotate wrist. Four. His sons and his daughters. Okay? Sons. This is the sign for boy. This is the sign for girl. Okay? All in sign language, if you divide the head in half, all the male signs are up, all the female, female signs are the lower half. Okay? So, like we did mother and father. Mother, female, father, male. If I were to do aunt and uncle, it'd be aunt and uncle. Okay? The head is divided. And the top half is male, the bottom half is female. So, son is a boy baby. Alright? But the way, that, that's what the origin of the sign. But the way you would sign it is boy baby. You wouldn't do the rocking that goes along with what you would do with an actual baby sign. Girl baby is a daughter. Watching wherever we go. All right. And then you have the chorus again. And we've already gone through the signs for the chorus. Those are the signs for I am a sheep. Work on them. Get to where you're comfortable with them. Get the, the lyrics are out there. You can print them off. 
from the website. I suggest you get them printed, that you look at them, get these signs down, then start looking at the lyrics and going, and then just signing it. Sign it in sentences. I am a sheep, and the Lord is my shepherd. Okay? Not much emotion in that, but get, get it where you can do them, and then as you start to bring the music into it, start to get your whole body into the signing. Okay? Signing is not just the hands. Signing is a full body exercise. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you there.